It's day one at the Balmoral Show, and all the country's top sheep, cattle, pigs, horses, and poultry are here competing for the top prizes. And after more than a century in Belfast, this is Balmoral's first year at its new home at the Maze. And there's obviously a lot of interest to see just how it's going to go. Alison Fleming's been having a look around. All eyes were on the cattle on this morning as judging started. There's hundreds of thousands of pounds of livestock here, hundreds of thousands of tonnes too. The offspring of some of these animals will be exported across Europe and further afield, with the beef championship taking place tomorrow. Elsewhere, the poultry, sheep and pig classes got underway as well. And it's not just the animals who are being judged at the Balmoral Show. It's all go here at the WI Pavilion as well, their brand new pavilion here at Balmoral Park. And inspecting the wares is Margaret Collinson. Margaret, I can't believe that this is the first year of the baking competition yes, for WI. Yes, well, we never had the facilities in the past and the Royal Arts Agricultural Society asked us to put on, to try and expand the home industry section. So we said, yes, fine, first year we will do uh, our six classes in baking and four in craft. Okay. We've always had the floral art, which is always popular, but we're absolutely delighted and we will expand it further <laughs> next year. And on top of all the serious judging business, there's been plenty of entertainment here at Balmoral, with the children's farm proving a huge hit. Well, there's no judging here at the children's farm, but I'll tell you what, if there were prizes for cuteness, I think this wee fella might win the lot. And among the thousands of visitors, there were some VIPs and even a royal showgoer. So as first days go, it's been a very busy one. Rhonda Geary is operations director here. Are you happy with how it's gone so far? Yes, we are indeed. I mean, the crowds are just buzzing in here today. And um, we have had our problems outside the site with, with the traffic and things like that. But we're working with the PSNI to address that. But no, things have been going really, really well. And the crowds are just um, having a great time. And they're able to see around this new site. And they're, we're getting really, really positive feedback. So as you can see, it's a very busy production office here, but I can see just over my shoulder that the sun is out. And let's hope that stays here at least for the next couple of days. Mark. UTV will be here for the full three days of Balmoral. And don't forget our special highlights programme on Sunday evening. UTV at the show, sponsored by SPAR. Proud supporters of local producers for over 50 years.